Good morning, folks. Welcome back to another video. This is day two here on our South Florida adventure, and I'm here at the beach with the beach bum. He's already fishing over there. This is one of my favorite fishing spots ever. There's just so much activity, and you know what? I can't believe there's literally not one fisherman except for Bama Beach Bum fish in this spot so maybe they know something that we don't know <laughs> i'm not really sure i'm gonna catch me some bait and probably try to live bait unless beach bump starts getting them on the artificial lures we're gonna uh, just see what happens this is awesome to be back let's go make it happen so i literally did not even get through doing my intro in beach bump hooked up on a freaking snook on artificial that was awesome dude How about that, dude? <laughs> I'm going with the 3D minnow right here, made by Yozuri. Beach Bum is getting bit on his Yozuri like crazy. I just gotta see what's going on here, if we can get one. <sighs> gotta get me a first here. Oh, oh, I think so. I can't. Well, dude, you got a seagull. Get away. <laughs> There's a lot of grass. I've had one little bite so far, and that's it. Oh, God, dog it. He just, oh, I'm on. Come on, there he is. Yes, sir. I, he just hit it and missed it and came back for it. It's on my bag right over there. That's my first artificial snook in a minute. Not a big one, but this is awesome being able to catch him without having to use live bait. Let's let him go here. See you, buddy. Let's get back after him. All right. I was, I was wondering about that 50 pound, but it did not seem to matter. I'm using a 50 pound fluorocarbon leader, and I thought that that might be a little too heavy for him. As far, as far as them being able to see it, but that, that one did not care. It's definitely more fun when you can get one to hit artificial. Oh, there he is. Oh man, he just nailed it. Come back for it. Come back for it. Oh man. He hit it hard. And guys, most of these lures that I'm throwing, you can get them at Carl's Bait and Tackle. It's where I get a lot of my lures from. Man, we got a ton of wind. Oh, 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 he nailed it. There he is. <laughs> That is so cool, guys. <laughs> All right. Come here, buddy. Oh, he's foul hooked. That's why he's fighting so hard. Well, no, he's uh, hey, Oh, my gosh. Did you just see that? Fred ain't got nothing on that guy. Dude! Guys, so I had to pull the snook onto the beach and get him all sandy because the pelican was literally gonna eat me. Dude! Dad gum pelican! <laughs> this is awesome, man. <laughs> really cool. See you, buddy. I just saved his life. <laughs> <laughs> After you almost killed him. <laughs> that was wild. I think that they're coming by in schools because I got hit three times before that one finally took it yeah let's keep it going man it 
such a cool area. Oh yeah, for sure. On artificial lure. Whoa, hey. That's not Fred. Get out of here. He mad. This area that we're fishing is the seashell capital of the world right here. And most people visit this place so that they can go around and find, collect seashells. There's people on the beach this morning down there and they're already collecting shells. I stay here. I come visit because of the snook. Catching a few. Right. You finding some seashells? No, my husband's up there fishing. Oh, he is? <laughs> oh, gotcha, gotcha. Beach bum just lost one. Oh, he's got one now. He's got him. Biggin? Dude, is he trying to eat it? Hey, get away. I'm thinking that if I get a big live bait, that I might can get, catch a bigger fish. That's a first here at this place, guys. I could catch zero bait. I threw the net like 10 times, my arms are dead, and I caught nothing. So we're gonna go back to lure chunking for a minute at least. Oh, there he is, there he is. There's a good one, there's a good one. Uh, damn. There we go. That's a little better fish there. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Snook. Oh, yeah. Little better fish right there. Let's get him back in the water. Hey, simmer down. Come on, buddy. That's a nice one. There we go. That was a little better one there, man. Yeah, he wasn't bad. Crushed it right here. Close? Huh? Very close. Like right here on the beach almost. Getting us a few snookers on the artificials this morning, man. Not at all. This sucks, guys. I literally just hung up this like $18 lure on something out there. All right, it may not be 18, it's more like 14 or 15, but it still sucks. Uh, it broke, there she goes. There she goes, it was hung good, man. I like, I have no idea. Like, it, like right out in the middle of the pass. Not a bad morning so far. I, I've never used a ton of artificials here, but to catch them on artificial is cool. But guys, look how, I don't know if you can see it, look how low the tide is, okay? That area right there, is you, those rocks and everything, that is usually completely covered with water. We got like a, an extremely fast outgoing current, and I can't catch any bait. Now the outgoing tides are usually pretty good for the snook bite, and I think if I could, did have a live bait, I would catch it, uh, we would catch a big one. But I've thrown the net probably 20 times. Hang on. You on? Oh, dang it, I had it. What's that? I call that the hurricane. There's lots of them there. Yeah, we, we get three. There he is. There's another one. This ain't a bait either. I need a bait. I can promise you this. Oh, that's another sheeper, dude. Look at here. So I've been trying to catch bait right here, and I thought I had bait, and it's sheep's head. He'd probably make it bait. Look at that. Big old snook would eat him. Probably. Not a snook, but that's okay. I'm trying, literally, guys, I got the smallest circle hook in the world trying to catch, like, a little bait fish of some sort. Catfish. I'll take anything. There you go, buddy. Nice fish. If I get a little bigger sheep, I'm going to take him home, cook him up at the condo. Oh, there's another bite. There's another bite. There he is. No, just a little piece, dude. Wearing these sheep's head out. Oh, he came off. He got me. Nice snook, man. Oh, there he is. There's another one. There's another one. I don't know. We'll see in a minute. Ooh, that may not, that may be a snook. Or a red, hold on. Oh, Grant. dang it. Yeah. 
I lost a good one there, guys. Let's see if we can get us another one. Pretty sure that was a redfish or a snuff one. About the size of the one y'all were catching. Yeah. There he is. Okay. Uh, might be a sheeper. I don't know. We'll see. Come here, buddy. Oh, maybe a better sheep head. Yeah, definite sheep's head. Come here. That's an eater there. Nice sheep's head. See you, buddy. Y'all check this out, guys, okay? I kept, like, walking, and I kept tripping over line. Look at how much line that somebody left on the beach. And then look at this. There's a whole nother wad right here. It's just like, you, like 50 yards of line. Like pick your stuff up guys, seriously. Like, like pick up your stuff. That's all fishing line mixed in with sticks and stuff. That's what I'm trying to catch. She's, that's her second redfish. Look at that pretty blue tail right there. You may, you may have to show me how to catch them. There he is. <sighs> yep. Come here, buddy. There is a ton of sheep's head down here. Golly. Come here. Yeah. So let me show you how I'm nice doing for these guys. sheep's head. We're just using a little bitty piece of cut shrimp right here. And we're getting bit on just about every cast. I know, man. I don't know, you jinxed me now. I might get bit. I wanted to get. I need a snook now. Let's go. I will take a redfish too. I cannot complain about that for a quick morning no. fishing session. Yeah. Can you? No, I've never caught three snook in one session. But we gotta leave, because we gotta go pick up Bearded Brad from the airport. We gotta find him, man. We're, 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 we're a little late, y'all. Yeah. yeah so like 35 minutes. Yeah, he landed at 1245. And it's uh, 142. 142. Where's the beard? Oh, we're, we're, he said between one and one and two or one and three. There, he's got oh, his Hawaiian there. shirt on. Oh dude. my Look gosh. <laughs> Just get here when you can, Brad. It's only the best snook weather of the week. I know. You're literally 45 minutes late. Hey, best snook snook weather of the week, and we've got to pick up, up Brad. Pick up. up. <laughs> the last time y'all said I looked like Miami Vice, this is the closest I've ever been to Miami, so I figured I had to rock it. <laughs> well, you'll be down there on Wednesday when we go catch some peacock bass. Sorry, Brad. I, I we apologize. Can't believe we this apologize. <laughs> Look, it's 1:43. It was a hot snook bite. At one o'clock. Could have called an Uber and been there by now. Oh man, I don't know where are we going here. Good way to end day one here, folks. Out here on the dock, we've got some steaks going on the grill. Trying to catch a few fish. Bearded Brad's tangled up. Pretty good day one. Got a nice bottle. Green label Weller right here. Oh, there he is. Oh, it's a squeaker. Look, look, it's a snook.
<laughs> Look at this. There's no way you just did that. <laughs> right here off the That tree. is a great way to end the day, dude. Y'all got to admit. Got you the squeaker freaking snook. <laughs> Brad, I'm sorry that I caught a snook before. You want to touch it? I do yeah. want to touch it. Thank you. Good, <laughs> I'll get my 40-incher tomorrow.